It's hard to imagine the force of a hurricane if you haven't experienced it before. We had no real idea what forces were involved until we had a direct hit from Hurricane Bertha. We were heading north to avoid just this problem, but it caught us in Newburn, North Carolina. We found a very protected marina in a creek and tied all lines double. We put a line across to the dock behind as well, as extra protection in case the pilings pulled out. We removed the furling jib and deflated and stowed our dinghy, anything to reduce windage. When Bertha came ashore at Wilmington and headed north towards us at New Bern, it was a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. Northwest Creek Marina has fixed docks, so we were worried about the rising water with the storm surge and stayed on board to adjust lines in the storm as the boat went up above the docks. Here the gusts are hitting 80 to 90 miles an hour. The eye is still a little south of us and already the water has risen three feet. A common mistake made by some in preparing for the hurricane was to leave roller furled jibs on the furler. They should be taken off and stowed because they can come undone in storm force winds. The staff and members of the volunteer dock crew risked injury looking after the marina in the storm. They're worried this boat will damage others close by. Whoa. The wind comes around now from the south on our beam and we start to blow over in about 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts. When it comes from the southwest, we know it has passed. Still the harbour doesn't have real waves. The marina is virtually landlocked with no more than 300 yards of open water in any direction. Others were not so lucky. The other three marinas in Newburn are almost completely demolished. Situated on the Noose River, they suffered tremendous damage when the winds pushed large waves right up the river and tore out over 100 floating slips. Close to 40 boats are sunk.